brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. It's time to be sober-minded and understand what's going on in this world. This thing is growing. The coronavirus is not something to be taken lightly. Um, the numbers have been skewed. Um, different countries and different portions of uh, countries are being quarantined and shut down. Um, you know, it's just like Mike from around the world was saying uh, last week or two weeks ago that when by the time we get to uh, May, if we should even get to May, we're going to be sick of the, the death, all right? Sick, sick of death, all right? This is, this is the days we're living in. But do we need to fear? No, we do not need to fear. We know where we're headed. We know where we're going. We know that the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So what are we seeing? What are we seeing in the world? Darkness. But what are we offering as the church, as the body of believers in Christ? We offer them hope. We offer people hope. We have the light of the Lord within us, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. And we walk each day. And amongst the people that we walk with, we need to tell them about our Lord and tell them that that is the only way. The thing that is coming on this earth is starting to see, be seen very clearly. So with that, I just want to give you a uh, what Paul Begley had just said. And it kind of spurred me. I've been reading articles and just looking at the way things are rolling out. And um, so listen to what Begley has just said. Anybody coming into Israel, even if you're a foreigner from another nation, you will, you will not even be allowed in the country uh, unless you can prove that you can self-quarantine for 14 days first. That literally shuts down every tourist group from the entire world. Now, this is just breaking. Israel will require all citizens who return from abroad to self-quarantine for 14 days as a precaution against the spread of the coronavirus, according to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He said it today. He just This just broke. Jerusalem Jane just broke this information seven minutes ago. It will admit foreigners only if they can prove that they have the financial means and a location to self-quarantine themselves. Israel's media said it that this added that this measure would go into effect Thursday. So Thursday, Israel shuts down, guys. Literally, Israel shuts down. So this is breaking news coming out of the Middle East right now, coming out of Israel, just now happened. I know I just finished my live show a moment ago. But this is huge, huge. It's happening, guys. What appear, appears to be a global reset, it's as if we're watching a global reset of the economies of the world. Because when you shut Israel's tourism, is 90% of Israel's income. You shut down tourism, and it's over, okay? I want to just say, I want to just add to this. What we are seeing is what the rabbis have been telling us, and for those that are being, that were being called back from America and to come back and make Aliyah, all right? Now, I know that Stephen uh, Bendenun uh, has different views, but um, he's got interesting views just the same. But, um, what the rabbis are saying is that, you know, come back before it's too late because you might it might already be too late. So what Begley, uh, Paul, Pastor Paul just said was that they're shutting down Israel, which means no one's going to come back. I mean, very few that would come back uh, or come to Israel would have to prove that they can spend 14 days uh, self-quarantining. So, as of right now, today, March the 9th, Purim, 
Interesting, right? On Purim, Monday the 9th, Israel has shut down and the, and the rabbis are saying that you might not be able to get a flight. This has been said already in, in breaking Israeli news in the past oh, few weeks, months, that when it comes time, before the Messiah arrives, the Mashiach, the, the, the one that we know as the Antichrist, before he comes, things are going to get to a point where you might not be able to get back into Israel to meet this Mashiach. So, brothers and sisters, all of this lining up with uh, Brother Paul at, at uh, uh, Revelation12.com um, that has shown that the, the Sea of Galilee is filling up, and he was charting that as far as the, the rabbi saying that once it's full, the Mashiach will come. Um, there is just so much right now pointing to the day that we're living in. And I don't believe we have another two weeks. We might have a lot less than that. It might happen tonight or tomorrow. Um, we're close. Brothers and sisters, this is a request. Look up. Don't look down. Don't be afraid. Look up. Your redemption is nigh at hand. Christ is at the door. He's about to open or split the door. When that door opens, if you're not ready, if you're not a born-again believing, spirit-filled brother or sister in the Lord, watching and waiting and praying that he will, will, will take you, all right? I know that that's a little uh, harsh, but as a born-again, spirit-filled believer, we will be taken. All right? Just understand that. We will be taken because he said those who are uh, watching, because it says the ones that are not watching, are he's going to come at a day that, you know, that they're not watching. And everyone now is worried about finances, all right? Talking about the market crash. And, you know, this world is fading fast. And there's no other way to look at it. It's fading fast. Something has to change. And remember what, um, okay, I'm trying to remember the guy's name. Oh, I can't remember. I got a picture in my head of this guy, but he was a big financial guy. Uh, big, big, big dude in the, in the financial uh, aspect. And it wasn't Greenspan. I can't think of the guy's name. You got the picture. You ever get that? You get a picture of the guy and you're going to speak about him and you can't remember his name. At any rate, he said that to bring the new world order in, you have to control the crash. In other words, like a uh, let it down gently. Control it and bring it down gently so that the reset can happen. Well, this is, this is proportionate to letting the the uh, the markets slowly because you have a disease or a, 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 a pestilence like this all right Jesus told us in Luke 21 that we would see pestilences so and earthquakes in diverse places we've seen the earthquakes but we're seeing now something that is bringing and remember this is the idea of this whole uh, 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 virus is that it brings a certain amount of fear and panic to people in the world. It shouldn't bring fear and panic to us as believers. We're the ones with the truth. We know the truth. We know that God is protecting us. He has his hand on us. We're going to be fine and we're going to, no matter what happens to us, we're going to be with the Lord very, very soon. So, you know, bear witness of Christ Jesus day by day and show the, the peace of the Lord in your heart and don't, don't worry, all right? There's a lot to worry about, but we shouldn't be worried because we're trusting in our Lord Jesus Christ to come and take us, all right? So just a quick message and a note on that as far as Israel being shut down and what the rabbis have said that, you know, you might not be able to get a flight back in before the Mashiach comes. 
So this is an indication if they're shutting Israel down, and it'll be at least 14 days. So people that come in on the fourth on Thursday when they shut it down, they have to prove. So it's starting to. They're shutting up. They're shutting the gates. All right. You won't. You won't be able to. If you live there, you won't be able to get there. If you want to visit, you won't be able to. All right. And most people aren't going to do that. Um, so this is what we're looking at. And it just gives us indication of, wow, are we close? Are we close? Yeah. The Lord Jesus is, we're, he's at the door. I don't know how much more we can say it. Someone that's at the door is literally all he has to do is turn a knob and open the door. That's something very quick and easy. All right. Someone's going to enter into a place there, put their hand on the knob of the door, turn it, open the door. That's it. So Jesus being at the door, we know where we're at. We know in what generation we're living in. We know how far since the fig tree was established we're living in those days. So brothers and sisters, be encouraged. If I can only say that one word, be encouraged. Jesus is at the door. He's coming. That should make you hoop and holler, all right? The blast on the shofar, that this blast on this shofar would even blend in with the one that's coming from heaven. In Jesus' name, take your earbuds out if you got them in. much longer it just can't so be blessed all right bless your bless your your brothers and sisters around you pray for your your brothers and sisters around you and look up because our redemption is near hallelujah perhaps tonight we're in Purim brothers and sisters the timing of Purim the timing of the the, the, the sun and the moon, just like I said in, in, in the video yesterday, Amos 8.10, right? I will make your feasts, I will turn your feasts, or their feasts, not God's feasts. God bless you all. Brother John, watchman for that great day. I'm looking up, brothers and sisters. I'm looking up. Where is he? When is he coming? I'm watching. We're watching. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt, that this is the time. We're, we're like so way past the hour that we should have been taken. We're like any moment, okay? God bless you all. Brother John, watchman for that great day out.